Hey everybody, Chris with Bear Outfitters here, and today we're going to talk a little bit about one of the questions that comes up most when I talk to people about camping and hiking, and that's, how do I hike with my kids? I know that that's a tough question to answer, and I think that it's one that's got two big parts to it, little kids and slightly bigger kids, and so we're going to dissect that a little bit, and we'll walk you through the Cadillac of Baby Carriers, the Osprey Poco series, and hopefully give you an idea of what these packs come with and why they're considered the Cadillac of Baby Carriers. So without further ado, let's get into it. So these are the two of the packs that I use when I take my kids out into the outdoors. This is the Osprey Poco AG and the Osprey Poco Plus. They're both fantastic packs. Both of them have a couple of shared features. They both collapse down. This one collapses a little bit differently than this one, but they both collapse down fairly thin. And then they have this kickstand that comes out of the back. And the big difference between the Poco Plus and the Poco Premium is that they basically have the pack that extends all the way across the bottom there versus the Poco AG that just has this little pouch here, which is about an 18 liter storage. And this one I think is up to 22 and the 25 for the, the Poco Premium Plus. So both of these packs are fantastic and they're fully featured. They've got space for a water bladder. They've got space for snacks. Like I mentioned earlier, they've got a space on the side where you can toss toys for kids or you can put a fan in there in the summertime to help kind of ventilate that pack a little bit. Both of these packs are very well thought out, and I really appreciate the guys over at Osprey doing a really good job thinking through this thing. You can tell that they put the effort in to make sure that both the person carrying and the person being carried are going to be comfortable throughout their hike. I wanted to go ahead and fold this one all the way out so that you can see just how wide it is. Both of these packs are going to be able to be taken, for example, on an airplane ride. You can check them at the gate just like a stroller. They're fantastic for if you don't want to bring a stroller along, you really want to have your kid with you at all times. That's a fantastic way to bring your kid along with you. They won't fit into a carry-on above or below. You need to gate check them, but they are fantastic packs for bringing along. The other really nice thing about this series of packs is that they've really made it so that the back is ventilated. There's nothing worse than having a carrier where your back is sticky and you're uncomfortable and the baby's uncomfortable because they're sharing that heat. It's really not a good way to go. Like I mentioned earlier, we take all of this time preparing to get our kids into the back country. And so making sure that they're having a positive experience is really going to help them enjoy it and enjoy it in the future. So take the time to really get a pack that's going to be worthwhile. There's two groups of kids that I want to talk about. The first is younger kids. So let's say toddlers and younger. These are the kids that are going to be basically along for the ride. We just need to make sure that they're appropriately clothed for the trip that we're taking and that they're not going to get too hot or too cold. The next big tip for these kids is making sure that as much of their schedule that they have at home stays with them on the trail. So if we have lunch at a specific time at home, we want to try and make sure that we have lunch about that same time on the trail. These little things will help kind of keep them, that, keep them in that routine and that will help them have a better experience in the backcountry. Like I said at the beginning, one of the easiest ways and the best ways to make sure that your kid is going to have a great time in the backcountry is to stick to their routine as much as possible. I know that I'm kind of beating a dead horse on that one, but it's really going to be the most effective way to make sure that your child is having a fantastic experience. Try to make things that they like to eat. Try to make things that are going to be fun for them to do in the backcountry. And if you need to, bring along a toy or something that's going to help them feel a little bit like they're at home. The big thing when we head out into the backcountry is that it's a big change, and kids have a hard time with that. So doing the things that make sure that they're comfortable is going to help them manage that change effectively. Also, preparing from early on in the week, say Wednesday or Thursday, if you're taking a Friday trip, saying, hey, we're going to be taking a trip. Build it up like you would build up Disneyland. This is going to be so much fun. We're going to have a great time. And that becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. If they're not expecting it, they have a horrible time, and then it gets reinforced after the fact that I had a horrible time, it's going to be a less positive experience, and they're not going to enjoy it. So take the time. Head out to the backcountry. Enjoy this time with your kids. They're only little ones, so make sure that they're having a fantastic outdoor experience. And I hope that this video has helped. If you made it this far and you really liked some of the material you found yourself nodding along the way, be sure to like and subscribe so that you can check out some of our upcoming videos. We'll be having some fun times with the Cotopaxi Questival, and hopefully we'll be putting that video up in the next week or so. Until then, we'll see you guys next time, and happy trails, everybody.